Hey book nerds, this is my June wrap up and I read about 19 books so I should get started because there's a lot of them. So I read Beautiful Creatures and I actually put this down when I first read it but I managed to read my way through and it wasn't bad. It was just really long and I wanted a lot more from this series than um, most people. Um, I did start Beautiful Darkness, the second one, and I didn't... I put it down again, so maybe there's just something about this series that needs to have more, just like, I just wanted something more than what was offered in this series, so that is Beautiful Creatures. I also read Sophie Kinsella's Wedding Night. I really like this one. Um, it sounded a lot like um, a movie script, so I really liked it. Again, Sophie Kinsella is a great great author if you like contemporary chiclet. She's the one to go to and when I put my review up on the blog this one will be up for a giveaway so I think it's US and Canada, I'm not sure. But yeah, so make sure to check that out. And this is Angel Fall by Susan E. This book surprised me. I really, really love this one. I gave it a 5 out of 5, and I usually don't do that. Um, this is a different take on Angels, and I managed to read this all in one sitting just because it was amazing. Um, if you like a lot of action and not a lot of love story, then this is the book for you, because I really like this one. Cannot wait, wait for the, the next one. And this is Cruel by Jennifer Album. And... This story was interesting enough. It was just, I wanted to say that it was a little boring, a little dry. Um, it did have a good sense of world building. Um, it was really unique in a sense, but um, I thought it lacked in some areas. So this one I gave a three out of five. And then I read Of Triton by Anna Banks. And this is the sequel to Of Poseidon. I really enjoyed this one a lot more than I did the first one. Um, this was a lot more getting to know the mermaid, poli the politics behind all the mermaids and their warring um, sides. So I really like this one. I do like mermaids. I also got to read Siege and Storm by Leah. Bardugo. Love this one. Um, I gave this a 4 out of 5. I thought um, the first one, Shadow and Bone, was a lot stronger because this one was a little, I want to say, it was a stop and go. So there was a lot of action and then it would stop for a bit and then it would just go up again. So um, the ending really killed me. So yeah, I cannot wait for the last installment in this trilogy. I believe it's a trilogy. If I'm wrong, then please let me know. Then I also read Monument 14 Sky and Fire by Emmy Laybourne, and I thought this was a lot stronger than the first one as well, which surprised me, just because, you know, second book, second books are usually, you know, uh, dull. But um, this one had more action, and I want to say um, there was a lot of, um, not character development, but a lot more characters that believed in themselves so then they would do things and it would, you know, wreck their situation or not, you know, they would either fix their problems or they wouldn't. So um, I thought this one was pretty good. Then I also read The Girl with the Iron Touch by Katie Cross and I actually did read this one as well, The Girl in the Steel Corset. Um, both were amazing. really like this one. This one gave me a sense of steampunk as well and then this one just like gave me a follow through with all the, you know, I guess kidnappings in this case because one of my fave characters gets kidnapped and it's told in her point of view in like, and it's not all in her point of view but it's more of this character and um, I really liked this one. I gave it a 3 out of 5. I think this one, I don't even remember what I gave it, but um, I really like this steampunk series. And yeah, if you guys like, you know, romance and action in a steampunk world, then this series is for you. Managed to get the wrong book there. 
Then I also read Natural Born Angel by Scott Spear. This is another take on angels where angels are treated as celebrities. This is the second book and I thought it was a little dry. Um, this one didn't have as much action as I wanted. Um, I'm kind of disappointed. I actually wanted to give this one a 2 and maybe still will because just because it didn't have as much punch as the first one. So I'm a little disappointed in this one. And Alice in Zombieland by Jenna Showalter. Everyone has been raving about this one. So when I was um, reading this one, I was really hyped up for it. But then, you know, as hyped up books, I thought this was way too hyped up. I didn't like it as much. I felt it was a little flat. I know this is crazy, but um, yeah, I just, I didn't really like the main character. So when you don't like the main character, there could be problems within the book. So that one gave me an indication. It was a little, it was a little different than what I thought it would be. So maybe that my expectations were too high. So that is that one. And then huh, this one, I was dying to read this one. This is recommended by Lauren Oliver. This is the the final book in the trilogy and I knew I was gonna set myself up for heartache because this is the last book and I heard not so great things and I kind of had to grieve just because it was I just wanted a better ending that's that's all I'm saying because if I say many more then there's gonna be you know spoilers but yeah just that ending it was just I don't know when my review will be up, you will find out why I didn't like it as much as I did. So I'm a little disappointed in that one. Then I also read Mila 2.0 by Deborah Druza. This one is a lot of action. I really liked it. This was always go, go, go. And it kind of did remind me of the Born Identity in um, a robot form. Um, I do like a lot of action and not a lot of romance. So this one was a good read for, you know, people who don't like romance as much. And this is Order of Darkness. Is, I think that's the... No, that's the series name. And this is book two, Stormbringers, Philippa Gregory. Um, this one, I want to say I did like it, but um, I'm not sure if it... Um, the plot was, you know... Um, enough just because I thought you know they should be you know traveling but they got stuck in one area so um I thought that was a little disheartening and yeah I know they changed the cover so this one is the arc version and just so you know um the arcs that I'm showing you today these are, are this is another one I will be giving them away in the blog so that's going to be US and Canada I have a lot of books that just get stuck in my box and I really want to give them away. So this is another one, Pivot Point by Casey West. Liked this one enough. Um, this went back and forth between um, you know, two alternate, I want to say universes, and I thought this was done really well. Um, it was typical of a contemporary story, so I thought that was um, interesting. So if you kind of like the paranormal slash con contemporary, just because this is all, you know, like within high school, um, her high school life. So yeah, that is Pivot Point. And then Mind Games by Kirsten White. Um, I wasn't hoping for a huge, huge um, read for this one. Um, it was okay. I want to say that um, it was a little messy and the cover does fool you just because it's so pretty but um yeah I didn't really see the distinction between the two sisters in this one because they were so similar in a way um even though one is blind but um I thought it would have been better so yeah that is mine games and then I have Proxy by Alex London and I want to say despite this um I want to say ugly cover. I really did like this one. Um, there was so much action. There was this whole world that was made up and I thought it was very very interesting that you know you have someone 
who basically takes your punishments for you. So the proxy actually gets hurt when and if you you are um, you know doing something bad, and only you know the rich and the wealthy has that privilege. But I really did really enjoy this one. So if you do like those kind of stories that are action packed and the ending is just like gripping you until you need the next book then I suggest reading this despite the cover. So I want to say that these these arcs right here will be up for giveaway um so yeah maybe I'll add some more in just because I have a ton in my box. Then the last two books. Now these are huge books for me. This is Clockwork Princess by Cassandra Clare. This is the last book in her Infernal Devices theory, ser theories, wow, series. And um, apparently I got a collector's edition. Thanks, Simon & Schuster. Um, this one had me in tears. Well, you know, as tears can get, tears fall. And, um... I thought it was a wonderful, wonderful ending. And I know it was long, but I do love Cassandra Clare's writing. So if you really enjoy the series, I do enjoy this one way better than The Mortal Instruments, I know. Um, so yeah, cannot wait if they have this into a movie. Sorry, getting off tangent. But um, this book, it's awesome. I really enjoyed it. It was a great ending. I know that the ending really did drag on, and I wanted to say that just because, um, yeah, everything just, like, came together. So, yeah, loved it, loved it. This was a five. And then, I wanted to keep this one as my last one, um, The Fault in Our Stars by John Green. Um, everyone said that I was going to cry in this one, and, yes, I did have tears in my eyes, but I thought it would have been a lot more different, um, I know this is really anal of me, but sometimes I find that the character's voice is a lot more mature than an adult person. So this kind of sounded like an adult trying to be a teenager. She was way... I, I don't know if this is how it is in most cases, but she's not your typical teenager because she her thoughts are a lot more mature and it was... it wasn't as teenager friendly as I would have liked it to be and um, I did think it was a tragedy as most people say this book is amazing but I didn't find the epic epic read that everyone was saying so I don't know if I missed something or something yeah let me know if you guys like this book as well so that um the ipad there just like completely fell down when i dropped the book so um this is my ending um that is it for my june wrap up and i will see you guys all next month bye guys <laughs>